Hi guys, it's me Karen. <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a flip through of this book here. I was uh, helped by finding this on um, Shell's Coloring Journey channel. She did a nice flip through of this book and there's one particular page in here <laughs> that I've kind of been looking for because my husband had requested me coloring something like this. I'll show you the page. I'll tell you which one it is when we get inside the book for uh, probably a year and a half. And he fi I finally found one, <laughs> one book that had that page. So I'll show you that in a bit. Right now, I'm going to talk about the book. This is the Woodland Watercolor Coloring Workbook by Claire Teresa Gray. Now, um, you can find this on Amazon. Um, sorry, I have a little tickle in my throat for some reason today. I was out and about <coughs> for a couple of days uh, today or uh, this weekend. And uh, I don't know, the weather's been changing. And then I went from our nice weather here where I live to the other side where it was very moist and colder and came back. So who knows? So um, I want to mention that this is printed on premium 200 GMS watercolor paper. So it is a watercoloring um, workbook. So I haven't even opened it. But we'll get to the uh, contents here. I'm going to break the spine because I'll have to do that anyway. There we go. It's stitched in, so that's always a nice thing when you have a watercolor book or any kind of book, I think. The stitching in helps lay the paper down flat, number one, and it also keeps it from when you're putting water or any other um, wet medium, the stitching will keep it attached a little bit better than just glue. Okay, this is a um, copyright 2023 new book publication. Uh, here's the publication uh, information up here. Do, do, do. That gives you bin numbers and everything. Table of contents. I love the coloring on this page. Uh, it's watercolor, but the uh, color palette is really pretty. So you have an introduction, a supply list, a painting technique area, uh, just colors and then you have the techniques using your water book and then getting started on page 15. <laughs> okay. Okay, there are 96 pages inside of the book. It is in English, which is kind of nice, so you can read it <laughs> if you <laughs> can read the English parts. Um, this is the introduction and it gives you kind of what you need here, the supplies. We've got watercolor pencils you can use in here. You've got the watercolor pa palette. Um, you can use the ones that you squeeze out. You can use gouache, recommended brushes, all this kind of stuff in here. And just because you have that nice stitching in here, you see how nicely flat that works. I just one of my favorite things about these kind of books. <laughs> they lay flat. Uh, wet on dry, wet on wet, layering, blending, uh, color mixing. All this nice information. Um, kind of give you what you can do with your watercolors. Pages that you can change the things. Begin with a light wash and then adding in darker colors and or different medias. So you have a few of these type of <coughs> pages. Oops, get a couple more in here for you. And then it tells you how to get started with your workbook that is right behind this page. Okay, these are thin pages up front and then you get into the very thick pages back here. Okay. Like I said, these are really thick <laughs> um, watercolor paper. They have texture on both sides. You can see it on this side, maybe. And it is definitely on this side. This is a 
printed page, they're all going to be single-sided from this moment on. So I can just do this part. Um, watercolors, inks. You could probably use your Copics if you want to. I would put a piece of paper behind here just in case it did go through this paper. Remembering it's watercolor, it will seep out m a lot of the Copic ink onto the page because it, it'll drink it up. That's, watercolor paper does that. It's not multimedia paper. This is definitely <coughs> nice watercolor. So we have a bunch of like little deer here. And these are going to be thicker, so they're not going to fold as nice. <laughs> Here we've got some bunnies. The paper is not bright white. It's kind of a cream paper. Here you can practice doing your eggs. Some of these pages I would do watercolor on. Some of them I might do watercolor pencils. You can use your Tombows. You can use your Faber-Castell water-based markers. These guys are really cute. You can see all my markers and watercolors used in this. <coughs> I haven't gotten my watercolors out very often, so we might do that especially on a simpler page, because I'm not really good at my watercolors yet. <laughs> but considering we have a lot of pages in here, I might get better at them. These guys are adorable. River otters. Nice little flowers. Got some more birds. And if you did the test page, you'll get those eggs right. <laughs> Got some snakes. Another bunny. But these pages are so thick. I feel like I'm not getting them all. There we go. Here we've got the whole woodland critters. Who we've got the deer. We've got owls. We've got the mushrooms. We've got a little little dude down here. Squirrels up here. Little birds. Butterflies. Everything. Wow. All the things you take on a camping trip. Nice cabin out in the woods. Oh, these are pages are pretty when they're done in watercolors. These are the flowers. They're all named so you can look them up and see what coloration they go on. Some birds. I like this one with the flowers and the butterflies. Some more birds. And this little guy. <laughs> then you have like a little sample of everything that was in the book. The whole page of squirrels. Very loud car going up the road. We've got some pheasants. This is the page my husband has been asking me to do. Oh, it's right in the middle. <laughs> Hunting dogs. <laughs> so you can't wait until I do this one. It's a little pointer here. Little guy up here. He wanted me to do some real looking dogs. So that probably will be not the first page I work on, because if I'm watercoloring, I'm going to have to <laughs> practice first. This is a good practice page. Oh boy. Trees. That's pretty. We have another little page of a bunch of little things. These are fun just to do bits at a time. Got a wreath, just a flowers. Common fungi or mushrooms. Insects. And she's labeled them all so you know what to look up if you need to. Oh, this is pretty. Kind of a half of a um, wreath, but you've got the moon up here. You could do a whole background and have this all stand out. Mm, pretty. 
This is more like a wallpaper page. <laughs> what a cute little bird. Oh, that's pretty too. Oh, that'll look nice if you <laughs> if I can do that one. You've got like the wolf going down. You could now do this dark and bring all these trees out with whiter trunks. Get the owl. Oh, pretty. Oh, and this one, I like this too. wonder if these would be starlings with the swirls. Not a big fan of starlings, sorry. <laughs> nice, pretty birds, but they're... Uh, we get them up here. They, they're mean. These are cute. More like doves. And that would be pretty, too. I could see doing that and just dressing the outer edges darker. Oh, another pretty little wreath with all the birds. That's a really pretty page. And then we have a woodpecker. We have those up here too. <laughs> I don't like them either. <laughs> and another nice little cabin. But we're in a more of a valley here with the trees on the outside. That would look really pretty done. And that's the end of the book. Little blip on the back page here. That's nice. Anyway, I love the coloration in here, and I do have the one page my husband's expecting me to color. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Um, like I said, the publication date was uh, May 23, so this is a brand new book. The dimensions of it are seven and a half uh, this way, eight almost nine inches going this way so yeah i hope you enjoyed i'll leave a link down below so you know where to get it i got it off of amazon and um yeah i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one take care everyone bye now <laughs>